Hi everyone, welcome back to New Egg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this Biostar motherboard. This is the TA75M Plus. It is a FM1 socket motherboard for AMD's new Lano series of APUs. That's Accelerated Processing Unit, which combines a CPU and a GPU in the same chip. Uh, so for starters, let's do an unboxing. And for starters inside the box, uh, you get a little collection of serial ATA cables. It looks like there are one, two, three, four of them uh, with little clips, which means that they're SATA Vision 2 and 3 compatible. They're wrapped up in a little Biostar uh, bit of Velcro cable wrapping, so that's nice. Uh, helps you with some cable management there. Of course, you get your motherboard input-output shield for the back of your case. You get the Biostar T-Series instruction manual, uh, as well as your drivers and installation disk. Uh, it's best to head over to the Biostar website to download the latest drivers for this uh, motherboard, but keep that disk on hand while you're doing your installation anyway. And let's see, do we have anything else in here? No, we don't. So let's move on to the motherboard itself. And now here's a look at the motherboard itself. It has a nice black PCB and a red, black, and white design overall with a couple heat sinks here for your uh, CPU power delivery as well as your A75 chipset. Uh, now while we're looking at the board in total here, let me just quickly point out our fan headers. We have our four pin CPU fan header up here. We have a three pin case fan header right there and then another three pin case fan header right there. And now let's go over this in a little bit more detail. We'll start down here in the bottom right area where you can see your front panel connectors. They're all color coded uh, on the pinouts right there, which is pretty nice. Uh, there's some diagrams on the board which actually, which actually shows you where to connect what plugs. Uh, and it actually also indicates which are the positive connectors uh, for your LED connectors, uh, which is, I must say is nice. It's kind of a pain to have to look those up every time. Uh, right above that, there's actually some surface-mounted power and reset buttons, as well as an LED right here, which will indicate your post codes as you're going through the BIOS. So if you have any problems when you initially get your system set up and it freezes, you can see the post codes right there. Uh, beyond that, we'll also tell you your CPU temperature uh, once you've actually booted into your operating system. Next up, we have all of these serial ATA ports. These are controlled by the A75 chip right here. They are all serial ATA revision 3, 6 gigabit per second ports. Lots of uh, serial ATA 3 controlled by the A75 chipset. Next to that, we have uh, a USB 3.0 20-pin header for the uh, front panel of your case. Uh, that is two USB 3.0 ports that can be controlled by that. Uh, next up, we have one, two, three USB 2.0 headers. Uh, for connecting USB 2.0 ports on the front of your case or on the back. Uh, you also have an infrared header right there. We have an SPDIF 3-pin uh, digital audio connector right there. We have a COM header port right there. And finally, we have our front panel audio connectors. Next up, let's talk about our uh, expansion ports. Uh, first off, we have a legacy P standard PCI port right there. And then we have three uh, PCI Express ports right here. The top one is 16-speed. You can use that for a graphics card and you can set up your dual graphics uh, in tandem with the graphics chip that's embedded in your AMD Fusion Lano processor. We also have a one-speed PCI Express port and then a physical 16-speed port right here which is wired for four-speed. So there are your PCI Express ports. Uh, next, let's go over here to the right side of the board. Uh, we have our 24-pin standard motherboard power connector. Next to that we have our DDR3 slots. Uh, we can support DDR3 speeds of 800, 1066, 1333, 1600, and 1866. Uh, you can put up to 8 gigabyte DIMMs in these ports. That is, if you can find 8 gigabyte DDR3 DIMMs, chances are you'll be using 4 gigabyte DIMMs, but that does mean it supports up to 32 gigs of memory. Uh, next up, we have our FM1 socket. FM1 stands for Fusion Medium 1. It is uh, one of AMD's first brand new sockets in quite a while, but you can kind of tell by the uh, hole in the middle of it that it is FM1. Also that it says FM1 socket right there. Uh, moving right along, we have our CPU phase delivery. Uh, it is five phase uh, CPU power delivery and it corresponds with some LEDs up here that will light up to indicate your uh, CPU power delivery status. Uh, right here we have a four pin ATX supplemental power connector which you wanna plug your power supply into. Uh, to deliver the right amount of power to your CPU, or APU, I should be saying. Uh, and then, I believe that's going to wrap it up for this side of the board. We're going to finally move on to our inputs and outputs on the back. 
Starting over here on the left side, we have a couple USB 2.0 ports. We have a PS2 port for mouse or keyboard. And we have HDMI, uh, an analog VGA, and a DVI output. And those will correspond with your uh, Fusion Lano APU that you have installed. Uh, so you can use that right out of the box without having to use a discrete graphics card. Uh, and you can just set that up immediately. Next to that, we have a couple USB 2.0 ports. We have a gigabit Ethernet port, and that's an RTL 8111E uh, controller for that one. And then finally, we have our audio. This is ALC 892 audio. It supports 7.1 channel audio out, as well as HD audio. Uh, so great for use, for instance, with the home theater system. And finally, a couple more USB 3.0 ports. And that is going to wrap it up for this unboxing and overview. Once again, this has been the Biostar T-Series TA75M Plus motherboard. It is a micro ATX motherboard. I don't know if I ever actually mentioned that. It has the A75 chipset right there and the FM1 socket for new Fusion Lano processors or APUs from AMD. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and we will see you next time.